back everybody. Today we're going to try Coffee Dino S'mores uh, from Off Color Brewing. Uh, I like the can art on this. It, it's kind of cool. It is a wrap, but the stars are actually like reflective in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Imperial Coffee Marshmallow Stout, 9.5%. I thought this untapped says 10.5, but I'm going to go to with the can. Um, there is no date. Uh, I picked this up at Hoffman Street Grocery with some other ones maybe a month ago, probably a month ago. Uh, so I don't know why they're showing 10.5 and this is showing 9.5. I believe this was $5.49. I threw away the top. Uh, from this, uh, it does give us like the breakdown of malts. So pale Vienna wheat Cara 2 extra special, flaked oats, dark chocolate, black roasted barley, hops nugget. So they're only using nugget. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's around 60 IBUs. It doesn't list it on here. Uh, I'm guessing most of those are at the beginning of the boil. I could be wrong. Uh, secret ingredients, marshmallow, vanilla beans, and molasses, graham, Graham flour? Never heard of that. Cocoa nibs. And extra fancy coffee. Uh, high gravity and coffee are the two labels on there. Uh, so yeah, let's get this thing open and see how it does. This has been sitting out for about 20 minutes. Most of the time I would let them sit out a half hour longer, but I finished one and I finished it faster than I thought, and I wanted this one, so we're doing this one. Ooh, I can really smell that coffee. Uh, definitely a chocolate-colored head on there. Uh, small and medium bubbles, more small than anything. A little over a finger of head. Bubbles on the side are compact, like dish soap for the most part. I do have a couple bigger ones on the side. Let's go ahead and check the color. Color is totally black, Russian Imperial Stout. That's how it should be. Now this one is gonna be loaded and I'm surprised I'm not smelling like a sweeter coffee uh, with those marshmallows. I don't know how they did them in here, um, but I was thinking this was gonna be real, real sweet. But let's go ahead and smell. Darker, almost burnt roasted malts are what come through the most. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. But it's not like that coffee or chocolate are really standing out. To me, the, what that coffee chocolate that I'm smelling at least right now is from the malts, the darker malts used. Maybe, okay, the, the coffee... It does smell like a, a cold coffee, uh, real intense, real strong coffee. But you really have to get down there. Maybe a little vanilla sweetness, marshmallow, vanilla bean. Now that it's starting to settle down. Now that it's starting to settle down, that, that roasted, that big dark roasted malt isn't coming through as much. But it's still there. It's almost like that, that sweetness from that marshmallow, that vanilla bean, that chocolate, that coffee is kind of taking over a little. Head's gone now. Let's go ahead and taste. Like an acidic, burnt, roasted malt is what I'm getting. A little tinniness is in there. And it's almost like I think it's because they use too much dark malts that I'm getting that tinniness. It's not from the can. It's just from like that ashy burnt malt that they're using. Medium body, not that thick at all for what it's supposed to be. I don't think. Not really getting that much sweetness. It seems like that that almost burnt, ashy, roasted malt is taking over pretty much everything in this. Like the, the 
extra special coffee. Is that what they said? Extra fancy coffee. It's like they used a very light coffee in here and that big roasted malt just took over. I do, in the middle of the palette, I get some chocolate that wants to come out. It just doesn't come out fully, and I think it's because of the roasted malt. Yeah, it's like in a ashy, acidic, burnt malt in my throat. Pour the rest in here, hopefully. It sounds like they had a good idea. I'm guessing the molasses is used to boost the ABV, which is kind of weird because then why did they use so much dark roasted malt that that's all that comes through when the ABV, when the yeast is going to eat the molasses, the sugar in the molasses? And the marshmallow, depending on, I'm guessing they added marshmallow to the boil. I'm just so it would dissolve. If you're a Russian stout person, imperial stout, barrel aged stout, I think you'll be okay with it. It's just, if you're calling a beer coffee s'mores, you think coffee would be the first dominant flavor in here with sweetness. The aftertaste, I do get a little bit more sweetness. I, you could say van, a, a, a touch of vanilla sweetness in there. But that roasted malt is like stuck in my throat. Yeah, lighter body, medium body. I think it should be a little bit higher, especially for 9.5% uh, and all the stuff in it. Um, I would have to go with a 3.25 out of 5. I could drink this. Uh, if it was named something different, we might have a different outcome. But when you put coffee as the first word uh, in the, the name of it, I feel that should be present and those roasted malts just covered up unless this can's like really old and i know it's not because they hoffman street sent me a uh a picture of it uh the day they got it and i picked it up that sunday so unless whoever distributes this had it on their shelves forever um i don't know but uh off Color Brewing is in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, but yeah, for me, 3.25 out of 5. Uh, I think they missed a mark on this one. Let's go ahead and check Untapped. One of my friends have had it, uh, 4 out of 5. A little over 1,000 people have had it, 4.03 out of 5. So I'm definitely lower than all of them. Uh, so the one person that had it, coffee, chocolate, and marshmallow in the aroma, Taste has coffee, marshmallow, chocolate, and a hint of graham cracker. Yeah, no. And that was, now, does that say 4, 5, 20? No, that was on February 17th, 2021. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know how old his was. I would, oh, 4 out of 5. Yeah, to me, it, it almost tastes like it is old, like that coffee's faded. Uh, if this was cellared, that coffee's faded, that sweetness has faded, and those roasted malts have really come up. Um, but, hey, don't, they don't put dates on these cans. 
yeah, nowhere. So I can just go by what I taste. So if you enjoyed this video, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, happy brewing.